This is Fields of Mystria. Uh, new game. It's a little loud, okay. How's that? Wait, how's that? <laughs> is that, that still loud, huh? How's that? <sighs> On your brain. That's okay. But also, yeah, my brain's been doing the same. I keep wanting to be like Fields of Mistra. No, Mistria. <laughs> uh. Can you hear it? Okay. Didn't realize how late it had gotten. I thought you could use a nice hot cup of coffee. Thank you. I'm not doing character voices. Don't expect that from me, by the way. <laughs> uh, so how's the town revitalization plan coming along? It's nearly there, I think. This game, uh The little like the the dialogue, I was talking about this yesterday, but like the the dialogue, like the talking sounds, it's just uh it's so good. Uh I've cataloged the earthquake's damage, listed out the various repairs necessary, and even made plans to replenish our emergency stockpile by the end of summer. The only thing we're missing now is to help is the help to see it through. Mother and father called away to the capital and people leaving after the earthquake. There certainly are fewer helping hands around here. Also, one of the things that I um, like about this game is that you see that uh, characters have like, there's the, these characters, right, have hearts next to their names. So all the characters that you can romance in the game have hearts next to their names. So you automatically know that they're romanceable. Uh, if only we could attract new villagers to move here. Gives Game Boy days of Pokemon. It's so like, ugh. I love it so much. Mystery is such a beautiful place. The small town charm, the rich history of the area, the rolling farmland. Okay, how does it sound now that the music's playing? Let's see, it's the old farm south of town. Why don't we send a notice to the Adventurers Guild in the capital? The music also just feels really nostalgic. Like, Surely someone there will agree to aid the town in exchange for land with such potential. That's a great idea. I'll get started on it. Thank you. I think his name's like, uh, Ayland. I wonder who will answer the call. Me. Actually, I think I'm gonna make, uh, I'm gonna make Bengus, by the way. Grandpa did not leave us the farm. <laughs> so here's, here's the character customization. And also look at, look at all these pronouns. Look at them all. They, them, she, her, he, him, she, they. He, they, all, and none. Look at them. Uh, pronouns. It also, I love that it, it defaults to they, them. Which is, uh... Hope the attention doesn't die like it did for Coral. Coral Island, I... But also the thing is, I love Coral Island. I still play Coral Island all the time. Off stream. <laughs> Coral Island's... I still think that... As of right now... I still think that I like Coral Island better than this. But also this, it just gives me nostalgia. Um, okay, I think we're gonna make Bingus, by the way. Cause I thought that would be fun. What are we feeling for, for, for Bingus? Also like, look at all these. I gotta do purple hair. Not that. I guess it goes from saving the world from mind players to farming. Yeah. I feel like that's, um. What color? Oh, Bengus had purple eyes. Are these purple? Yeah. Oh, those are nice. Are maybe these ones? Wait, hold on.
also you can um unlock more stuff through the game you can like get more hairstyles so like you see that these are like locked right you could get more hairstyles and stuff uh through the game which is really nice and fun Can't decide on a hair. Maybe that. Whoa! Let's go. What should Bingus wear? Overalls? Purple? Maybe just like simple, like. So we got like tops, dresses, and then there's also like bottoms, just like pants and stuff, right? And then you could buy, and there's also backpacks. There's a cape. You could wear a cape or a backpack. Just could do a little backpack. So much easier than them flipping through arrows. Yeah. Yeah. Happy Tuesday. Also, we could do glasses. There's, there's glasses. And also you can, uh, I won't, well, one of the, one of the, uh, other great things about this game is you can change your appearance anytime. Like, if you want to change your hair or, like, your outfit, you can change it anytime. Yeah, the, how does this look? <gasps> Wait, that's cute. What about, like, goggles? Oh. A little headband moment. Ribbons? Oh, those are... What about a cowboy hat? <laughs> Good name and pronouns. Actually... Uh, I don't know. I think you could change your pronouns. I don't know about your name. Which hat? I didn't really. I don't really remember. Cause I didn't. I don't think I looked too hard at it. What about maybe like a headband? Oops. Or goggles. Oh, and also there's facial hair. Uh, when is Bingus's birthday? We got Bingus. Bingus has a fall birthday. Fall 13, maybe? Wait. Perfect. Pets are not available yet. No, I think you can't change is the birthday. Okay. We have to commit to your birthday, but you can change everything else. Are we good? Are we happy with bingos? I know fall, like you can, uh, fall, winter, summer. All right, let's go. There's little bingy. Hello there, this guy. I don't know who we're gonna romance in, in this save, but I'm kind of leaning towards uh, Balor here. Or it's between him and maybe March, you'll see. I can date the Dilf. I'm dating the Dilf in my offline save though. Uh, so I'm like, I didn't want to do it again. Didn't expect to see anyone else out this way. The roads have been a real mess since the earthquake. Laura, traveling merchant. Pleased to meet you. Let me guess. You're here at Lady uh, Adeline's request. She mentioned someone had taken her up on her offer. She said she was looking for a capable adventurer. There was something about free land in a house. <laughs> High five, by the way. I've seen the area. It's a lovely spot quite close to town. I'll walk with you the rest of the way if you don't mind the company. Oh, <laughs> I don't mind. No wagons can get through here since the bridge collapsed, so I had to carry what I can on foot. Is everyone in this town hot like Coral Island? Uh, yes. Great, let's go. It's literally giving old school RPG. It literally is. That's why I'm like this. It doesn't really feel like a, like it's a farming sim game, but it doesn't really feel like it besides the fact that you do everything in a farming sim. <laughs> uh, also, you could jump, you could swim, you could dive. Oh, there's so much. Y'all are gonna love it. Uh, we should be able to make it before it gets dark. Come on, we'll head straight to your new farmstead. Thanks. Baller. 
Valor. I'm probably gonna butcher everybody's names, but I'm gonna do my best, okay? Uh, how did I how did I pronounce his name? Island, Ayland, Ayland. That seems right. Lord Ayland, look who I found at the edge of the forest. Hey, Bangus, I presume. <laughs> welcome, welcome, I'm Ayland. It's wonderful to meet you. Thank you. Hey, you're in good hands, Bangus. I'm off to the inn. It's been a very long day. I need a hot meal. I'll see you around. Look at my farm. Oh, also I love the little like character movements, like the sprite movements too. Uh, it's nice, isn't it? You're right outside of town. Great soil for farming. Thanks. And look at this house. Forced out walls with a rich history. Let's go inside, shall we? Okay. Ah! Oh. Ah! <laughs> Just a minute. Oh, sorry. Hey, this is my house. Now. <laughs> It uh, er, appears we're not quite ready for you, but not to worry. I'm sure she'll only need a moment. Um, I'm used to roughing it, honestly. Yeah, you know we we uh. Oh, no need. Oh, cool. Sounds fine. Uh, you must be Bingus. I'm Adeline. Thank you so much for answering my request. My brother and I are so excited to have you have a real adventure here to help the town. I hope you like your new farm. It has lots of potential, don't you think? Um, why don't you come inside? Thank you. Wow, it's so cute. Welcome to your new home. How cozy. Cozy. <laughs> I'm glad you think so. Would you like a quick tour of the room? Um, so this is things like this. Um, so if you say like, yes, please, it's going to give you a little, I think this is going to give you a little tutorial moment. Yeah. This here's your diary. You could write in it when you want to record your story. So like a lot of this is pretty self-explanatory, right? If you've played games like this before. So it's like, Hey, here's how you save. Here's how you do like this stuff. This of course is your new bed. Make sure you get to sleep by 2 AM each day to keep your stamina up. So it like explains, um, I'll make details. Put this calendar up for you. You can use it to check when Mystria holds its festivals. You can check when everyone in town's birthdays are. Pretty large or decent size. It's pretty It's pretty big. And the storage just here was made by Mystria's very own carpenter, Reese. You can store items here if your bag starts to get too full. And that's about it for you. Also, the, the, <laughs> the bait of my existence in, in farming sims is always starting off with such a small bag. Soup! Stopped by the inn and picked up a bowl of their famous vegetable soup. I want vegetable soup. It's too hot for me. Man, I can't wait for fall so I can make soup again. I mean, I could have soup in the in the summer, but it just soup in the fall hits different. Um, welcome to Mystery of Bingus. Glad to have you. Let's meet up tomorrow so we can start discussing our plans for the town's restoration. Eh. Look at my silly little goggles on my head. <laughs> on Bingus's head. Cucumber soup. Isn't it like, yeah, isn't like cucumber soup a thing? Like cold, like a cold, like a cold thing. The hurricane last week, I took advantage of the cooler weather for pot roast. Oh. oh, I want pickle soup actually. I should make pickle soup. Um, also, I'd love, so I love the character movements. Like you could turn on your fireplace. Um, here's a, wait, it doesn't show. Oh. So when you meet people, it'll show their birthdays. So there's a spring festival. Um, you, know, you got your storage. We're gonna um, save our progress. Also, the best thing about this game is you could save at any time. It doesn't have to be asleep. But I did see that apparently there is a, um, you wanna make sure if you have multiple saves, you want to make sure that you actually save with the diary because your bed saves will get auto, will get like replaced. Like there's only one bed save. So if you are saving with the bed for like other save files, it'll get right written over. So you always want to save with the diary before you close. So that way you can get to your different saves. <laughs> Celine, oh, hello, you must be Bingus. I'm Celine, it's so nice to meet you. I live in the cottage north of here. 
I'm so excited to be neighbors. In fact, I brought you a little housewarming, um, a field warming present. Thank you. Daho, what'd you call me? Oh, you'll need it to till your field. I love gardening myself, so I have this extra one lying around. Thanks. If you want to expand your field size, though, you'll need a shovel. Available, available at my family's general store. Three bags of tulip seeds you'll need to get you started. Play. Hope you'll consider growing lots of flowers. I'm more into potatoes. <laughs> oh, did you know that potatoes plant flowers too? You'll actually be able to tell when they're ready to harvest when their flowers bloom. I will not give in. I mean... Uh, morning, neighbor. My name's Hayden. I run Sweetwater Farm to the west. You don't gotta tell me your name, Bingus. You're already the talk of the town. <laughs> huh. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Gale of Waterdeep! You almost galloped straight into poor Bingus! Uh, don't mind my horse. He just likes meeting new folks as much as I do. <sighs> I think I need to lay down. I've just been, uh... My apologies here. Let me make it up to you. <laughs> Please make it up to me. <laughs> oh, take this watering can. Oh, thank you. You need to water your crops every day if you want them to grow big and strong. Uh, three bags of turnip seeds. Turnips are good raw and they're even better cooked. The whole town will surely appreciate more shipments of fresh, fresh produce. God, he's just... It's been a good while since I've been out here. Things sure have gotten overgrown. Yeah, just a little bit. Um, no, this man is dateable. You can date him. I'm, I've, I've gotten, um, one of his romance scenes, his two heart romance scene in my offline save. This is what I've been playing this weekend. Um, oh yes. Uh, any pointers to get started with your field? Yeah. So if you do, I love some tips. I'd love tips at like little tutorials. Use your hoe to clear on cleared field areas to till the soil, plant the seeds, water your crops, harvest the crops, profit. And then we need a shovel to like expand things. There's like, you know, what you do, sell, cook, feed animals, your crops, all that stuff. Don't be shy, Bingus. Come by anytime. I will. Sorry, what? I'd love to introduce you to all my animals. He has a pet chicken, by the way, that lives in his house. So uh, just head north of here and the road will take you into right into town. Cool. Thanks. I'm gonna plant my crops first, though. Hiya! Hiya! Thanks. Hiya. Gotta plant me crops! I got, uh, three. I got tulips and and turnips. I also love the little, like, planting animation. Like, how cute that is. Do I have water in here? There we go. Also, you could jump! You could jump in this game, by the way. Watch this. Hey, uh, you can swim. You could jump and you can swim. This is called Fields of Mystria. It's currently in early access. Into town. Also, there are harvestables. And a lion. Abalor. Balor. I'm glad I bumped into you. I'd forgotten to mention. Make sure you put anything that you want to sell into the shipping bin next to your house. Oh, thank you. Thank you. He runs. He runs this little this little shop here. Like you could buy uh. You could buy a maid skirt. Yeah, you could swim! You could swim. This is town. Reminds you of a Fire Emblem character? Okay. I mean, I guess I'd hope I'd, be, I'd, I'd run into you. Your timing is perfect. I'm sure you're eager to help. To start helping Mystery and its citizens. So I'm here to tell you all about Town's Request Board. As the name implies, villagers post their requests here every day. You'll receive rewards whenever you complete them. It's a great way to earn money, equipment, and most importantly, renown. So this is like a little renown. Let me explain the basics. As you know, uh, Mystria is just one of the many towns that make up the kingdom of Ald Aldarian? Aldarian. Aldarian. All of them receive town rank according to their renown level. 
Towns with a higher town rank enjoy more popularity and more support from the capital. Uh, Mystery's renowned level has was improving prior to the earthquake since then. Though, we're down to two entire town ranks. As daughter and heiress of Mysterio's Baron, improving the situation is my highest priority. Either help will repair the Earthquake's damage, raise Mysterio's town rank, and put this village back on the map. Why don't you go ahead now and accept your first request? Don't worry, I got it. I gotta greet the townsfolk. And we get potato seeds. Can I be this? <laughs> Uh, yeah, we're gonna meet our new neighbors. And as you get to know them better, your general can keep track of your relationships with them. Um, and even document their favorite gifts. What can I do to make you like me? Uh, what do you like? Well, tulips are nice, and they are in season right now. I hope you'll be growing some on your farm. I want to see if we got those tulips. View the map in your journal. Give you a good idea where people are. Oh yeah, you could actually see where people are on the map too, which is really nice. Each time you meet someone, it will update. You have to get a visit as the first step on our path to restoring the town. Isn't this exciting? Come talk to me once you're done meeting everyone. Slay. So it, uh, yeah, you can see on the map, it like shows where people are. Locked deep wood. Hey. Your pride itself on being welcoming, so don't be shy about saying hello to your neighbors. Everyone's so excited to meet the new person around town. Hey, let's go in here. Hey. Holt! Well, hello there. You must be the new face in the town. Nice to meet you, Bengus. I'm Holt. I've been wondering who'd move into that old farm. Ha ha ha. Yes. Well, uh... <laughs> What's the matter? D <sighs> It behooves you to respond to a pun in kind, you know. Don't worry. I'll help you practice. You'll get the hang of it. Anywho, my wife Nora and I run the general store. Our girls Celine and Del help out as well. Stop by if you ever need supplies. Yes, so you can buy, uh, you know, stuff. You buy a shovel, bag upgrade, all these things. Wait, is there anybody else here? Hey, somebody back here. Hello? Anybody here? Oh, so you could just barge into people. Oh, hey. Nora, oh, you must be Vingas. Welcome to Mysteria. I'm Nora. I run the general store in town with my husband and our daughters. Also, I'm also head of the Chamber of Commerce and the Saturday Market. Though unfortunately, the Saturday Market has been on hiatus since the earthquake caused the bridge into town to collapse. Laura's currently the only merchant that even attempts the trip these days, and he has to do it all on foot. Market bridge, I can help. Oh, right. I'd only mentioned you'd be helping the town in exchange for the farm. If the broken bridge were repaired, all sorts of merchants could presume bringing their wares to town on Saturdays. You'd love it. I would! They bring new hairs and new clothes. I still see a freaking web on my microphone. Ugh. Boop. Boop. I just love jumping around, like hopping around, you know? Who wants to be my friend? Oh, there's somebody over there. Hello. Hi. No, can I? I want to talk to you. Raina, hello. You must be the new farmer. She's so cute. My name is Raina. My family owns the Sleeping Dragon Inn. It's a pleasure to meet you, Bingus. Oh. Brings you to mystery if you don't mind me asking. I heard there was free land up for grabs. <laughs> uh, I don't work really hard on this initiative. I have to admit, I wasn't sure anyone would take her up on it. I'm glad you did, though. I can't wait to see what types of produce you grow. Um, I hope you'll stop by and try my cooking sometime. I'll be looking forward to it. Oh. Is there anybody else in here? No. Boop. Yeah, you don't need friendship points to gain access to their rooms. Hey, Josephine. Must be the new farmer. I don't mentioned you'd be arriving soon. <laughs> Delight to meet you, Bingus. You can call me Josephine. I also go by Joe. I run the Sleeping Dragon Inn with my husband, Hemlock, and our children, Reyna, Maple, and Luke. Luke. Have you met them all yet? No, I met your daughter. Though. Uh, it'd be my pleasure to serve up either. There's all the kiddos over here. Hey. 
Maple! She's so cute. Are you the new farmer? My name is Maple. Where do you live before you came here? Have you ever been to the capital? That's where the royal family lives, you know. You can ask me anything. I know all about them. Del. Oh. Well, are you one of the- Are you- Are you the one moving on to the old farm? I'm Del. That place is haunted, you know. Oh. Haunted with monsters. I swear I saw one hiding behind a tree. Oh. I mean, if you have any trouble, I take care of them for you. I'm sure you can. Luke, hello. Do you like bugs? Yes. I say as I w w was screaming about a spider in my office earlier. Excellent. My name is Luke. I'm finally excited to have a fellow insect enthusiast in town. Finally. Wait until I tell my sisters. Hey, Hemlock. Why are you married? Why can't you be a single? Anyway. Um, who do we have here? Are you the new farmer everyone's been talking about? Great to meet you, Bingus. I'm Hemlock. If you ever need a good meal, a cold drink, or some good company, be sure to stop by the Sleeping Dragon Inn. There's always a cauldron of hearty soup kept hot for anyone who wants a bowl. Mm. Technically, a spider is an <laughs> Um, technically, um, actually, um, uh, spiders are, um, erect. <laughs> uh. Uh, okay. Let's go up here. Boing, boing. Hey, this is Reese. You must be Bingus, right? I think that's how you pronounce his name. Uh, nice to meet you. Welcome to Mysteria. I'm Reese. I run the carpenter shop with my uncle, Landon. If you have any interest in crafting, let me know. I'd be more than happy to give you some tips. I'm all about crafting. I thought that might be the case. I'm sure you'll want to make things like fences and furniture for your farm, right? Yes, I would love to. Feel free to use the crafting station near the town square. You mean the one you're at right now? If you stop by the carpenter shop, you'll also be able to purchase some of the crafting recipes if you'd like. Anyway, good luck getting settled in. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, you can just like use, you know, like craft stuff like here. I think, and then you could buy them for um, your thing too. Anyway, this is the other, this is March. I'm also considering him as a, a, a marriage candidate for us. Name's March. What do you want? Charming. You must be this farmer folks are talking about. Regardless of what Adeline says, we don't need an outsider to come in and solve our problems for us. He's just so grumpy. We have everything under control. Just don't get in the way. You just, just makes me want you more. <laughs> are you the new farmer everyone's talking about? Also, why isn't this guy marriageable, huh? Come on. Uh, the one who's coming to help out the town? Yeah, that's me. That's super cool. Nice to meet you, Bingus. The name's Ulrich. My brother and I live at the blacksmiths. I hope we could be friends. I want to be more than friends, actually. Yeah. Valen. Valen? 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 You must be the new farmer, Bingus, isn't it? Me? I'm the town's doctor. I run the clinic. No need for formalities, though. You can just call me Valen. Nice to meet you. You too, I hope you're getting settled in, all right? Random farm is hard work. Be sure that you get plenty of sleep and eat well to keep your energy up. I shall. Hello, doctor. Okay, let's go meet um my other, one of my other favorites. A love of my life. Oh, Juniper. So you're the newcomer. Is that right? Well, bingus, you can call me Juniper. I recently opened the one and only bathhouse in this backwater village. What's a lady like you doing in a place like this? <laughs> well, like you, I have my own reasons for being here. Anyway, please stop in often. By the look of it, you could certainly use it. Whoa! What does that mean? God, I love her. Also, dog! Dozy. Wolf. Color says Dozy. Good boy. Wags his tail. Uh. Anyway, okay, who else are we gonna meet? People over here. Boing, boing, boing. Also, the fishing in this game is very similar to like um, how Animal Crossing fishing works, where it does the exclamation point and you just pull it in. There's no like fishing mini game situation, which is quite nice. Hello. Landon, hello there. My name's Landon. You must be the one lady Adeline was telling us about. 
My nephew Reese is around your age. He's taken the lead in the carpenter shop since I retired. We sell everything from crafting stations and furniture recipes to farm buildings, home upgrades, stuff anytime. Thank you. Uh, somebody is down by the lake. Boing, boing, boing. Hello, wait, sorry. Oh, forageables. Panel. Wild leak. Oh. LC. What do we have here? Bingus, that's a nice name. Thank you. My name's LC. I live at the manor house with my niece and nephew. I don't live in Ayland. Her parents, the Baron and Baroness, spend most of their time in the capital, especially these days. I once did that too. What a grand time. What grand time? So manor time with mystery are really in... But spending time in mystery, you really start to appreciate country, country living. Thank you. I can share the latest gossip and even romantic advice. Like that? Tulip. My cursor pop up. There we go. That out of here. Can I harvest this? Hold on. Oh, I can. Freaking, I didn't even know that. <laughs> I didn't even know I could come and harvest these. I don't think I've actually have come down here in my uh in the game I've been playing offline. <laughs> oh, whoops. Uh. Oop. Uh, let me up. I'm gonna have to go, uh, go back to our house and drop stuff off in my chest. That way, town. Oh, I can't, I don't have room. Or anything. Somebody up here? Oh. Ahoy there! I'm Terith Terithia? Terithia. Who might you be? Ah, oh, that's right. Adeline mentioned her plan a while back. You didn't realize someone had taken her up on a request. I run a little tackle shop out by the beach. Oh. I sell fishing rods and small uh, selection of freshly caught fish. Feel free to stop by. Thank you. This farm? Yeah, this is my farm. Down here. This place is a mess! Okay, let's uh, throw all this stuff in there. Okay. Uh... Go this way. I think this game is definitely. I feel like it's one of those, even though like it's in early access, I would uh. What what did we how much did we say it was? Like 13, 14 dollars? Um, it's one of those, you know, like when it comes out of early access, the price could go up. So I feel like it's definitely worth it to get it now, you know, 13, 13. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. I feel like that's how most, that's how most things work. Like price goes up a little bit when it's fully out. Can't say for sure, but it's just a theme. Oh, can I donate stuff to the museum yet? No. Hello. Yeah, Errol. You're gonna be helping in the rise of uh, mysteries renown. How splendid! It seems we share a common goal. You call me Errol. I'm the curator of Mysteries' brand new museum. I hope you'll consider donating some items. This is a great way to earn renown. You'll even receive rewards for each collection you complete. We'll support each other's efforts. Yeah. Can I donate now? Yeah. Got lots of stuff you need to donate. And it even tells you, 
like when you hover over stuff, um, if it's something that can be donated, it'll have like a little check mark or like a little box next to it um, to know if you need to like donate it or if you've already donated it. Oh yeah, you can change your name and your pronouns. Oh, you can even change your farm name. I don't think I paid attention to that before. Um, yeah, it gives you, um, like you have your info here. There's your town rank. You can get equipment, your skill levels. Um, here's like your quests and here's like the relationships thing. So it, and you can, there's no amount of, um, how many gifts you can give people per week. You could just, you could gift people things every day, but I think you can only do it once a day because there's like the little gift thingy, but it checks if you talk to somebody and then, you know, it has like their, when their birthdays are, what they do. And then when you unlock things that they like and love, it'll like show up. So, you know, um, same with the dog. You can even give dozy gifts. Oh. Yeah, then it tells you, you no, know, people are single and... And all that. Okay, who do we still gotta meet? The chicken. Wait. Oh, we met everybody. We'll go meet the chicken, though. Should villager pronouns as well. Oh, that's true. I didn't even think about that. That would have been cool. Done your civic duty. Huzzah! Also, the other great thing about this game is that you could shop at any time. Like the shops are never closed, and you, they don't need. There doesn't need to be people there running them to get stuff. Like, look, you could just get stuff. It's just the, the little signs here: chicken, uh, Henrietta. Ch this chicken clucks at you with regal air. You're sure this must be Henrietta Hayden's prize-winning chicken? It's a pleasure to meet you. And there, if it gets suggested to them, probably. I they probably I'm assuming they have a I haven't really like looked into it, but I'm assuming they probably have a Discord where people submit like bugs and um other stuff. Oh, you see at the at the top there, um, there's like a little like museum looking icon and an empty box, um, and so like. Here it's because I need to donate that, so it's not checked, but this I've already donated, so it's checked off. Very nice. Oh, it's a disaster here. The mess. Player of the path. Quality of life detail. Yeah, there's a lot of really good like quality of life de details. Oh, my bag is full. Uh, donated that. Already have one of those. Need to donate that. Donate that. Okay. There is, um, you do have stamina at the top. Top left is your stamina bar. But then there's also, you know, the bathhouse that you could go to to regain stamina. Um, you need to, who am I turning this into? Let me get potato seeds. Town is also just like so cute. Hey, what are you doing? Hey, come back. Oh, the newcomer. I suppose I should be thankful. I was the newcomer until you arrived. Josephine's got some new, someone new to fuss over. Fair enough. Hey. Hello, Bingus. Out exploring the town? Yeah. Mysterious has a number of historical sites you may come across on your travels. This area 
the hot spot for archaeology, you know. Wow. If you notice any raised areas in the ground, try using a shovel or pickaxe on them. You never know you might Yeah, there is a there is a um like an excavation site, which is really cool. Bong. Oh, she was literally right there. Hey girl. Turn in. Finish meeting everyone in town? That's wonderful. Congratulations on completing your first request. Here's your reward. Potato seeds. And money. Um, I'm so happy you're taking over the old farm. It was long neglected. I can't wait to see what you do with it. I can't wait either. <laughs> we'll see. Hey, what are you doing? Salutations, Bingus. You seem to be acclimating nicely. People here are lovely, are they not? They're so lovely. I think this game looks so good. You've been following it on Twitter for years. I don't remember if I... I feel like I, like, have, for, like, a while, I've seen, like, little bits and pieces of it. Um. But I can't, like, uh, fully, um, remember, you know? I'm gonna go donate this stuff to the museum real quick, and then, uh... Go we'll plant these potato seeds. Whoa, I'm just missing one. Actually, I think I know where that one flower is too. I think it's like this way. So here's the, that's where the cavern is. We can't go in there yet though. Chickpeas. Boing, boing. Oh, this is where the dig site is. Down here. We don't have anything to use to find anything, though. There it is. I'm gonna complete my first museum thing. I don't even know if I did this in my other. I did it. Oh yeah, I did do that. Oh no. Uh oh. Farmer's cap. Snow pea seeds. Winter crop. Got it. But now I have a new hat. So now we have the, the farmer's hat, which is like the the classic uh Harvest Moon. Like OG Harvest Moon like hat. It actually looks pretty good. I'm gonna keep it on. Hat. Okay, we gotta we gotta get home. We gotta plant these potatoes. Before it's bedtime. Also, I love that like if you notice like little details, your hair um your hair like bounces. I really, I love that little little detail. There's so many just like little details. Oh, did not mean to do that. You could throw things. Um, <laughs> I know it's getting late. I gotta play these potatoes. Uh. Imagine if I passed out on my first day. Ta-da. Sleep. Summary. Completed quest one. Museum donations seven. I'm on a roll. Our town rank is at now level one. <gasps> level two. Slay.
Now you can see when people's birthdays are. We met everybody. Oh. It is 6.30 a.m. Uh, good morning, Bingus. When I was here the other day, I noticed something suspicious about this tree. I believe it's covering old stonework. As head of the historical society, I thought I'd investigate, but this old bark is proving to be surprisingly tough. It's awfully early for this kind of thing. <laughs> I'm terribly sorry. It's been on my mind and I just had to investigate. How about I make you an honorary member to make amends? Sure. Let me, let me take a sewing. By all means, here, you can have my axe. Thank you. Axe! Incredible! This is a statue of Cal... 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 Calderus? Calderus? Cal... Calderus. That sounds right. The mythological guardian of Mystria, our ancient ancestors used to worship, worship statues like this one. What an incredible find. Shame about the head, but with a little bit of help from the newest members of the historical society, I think we could see him as good as new. We'll have chopping trees at 6 a.m. Good as new. There we are. Don't you just love the sense of achievement? I do, actually. <laughs> I believe that reconnecting with uh, mystery is past is the key to our future. This has been the most productive morning. Thank you for all your help. Please keep the axe and do let me know if you stumble upon any intriguing archaeological finds yourself. Statue has a dignified presence. It almost seems alive. Mmm. I got an axe. Visit the museum. Okay. Gotta water my, my crops. Look at the little caterpillar. <gasps> I thought I almost, I freaking thought I almost destroyed my crop there. Let me go put this. I am that statue dignified, almost alive. Almost. Not quite though. All the cat games. Can we give the statue food? Well, I don't know. i take care of these real quick. When can I get my pickaxe? Oh, I gotta go get my uh, reward. I feel like this is one of those games where you're you're like, I'm gonna forget to take a break. You know? Goodies. Money. Unlock an adventurer's hood. Uh, 10 wood and 10 stone. I don't have, do bro a favor. Oh yeah, I get my pickaxe. Ulrich! Uh, where are you? If actually, if I hover over them, can I see? No. Where's bro at? I can't tell. Sometimes it's hard to tell. I think my only complaint is that sometimes it's hard to tell what's right is who. So it would be nice if you could like hover over them on the map. To see their names. At <laughs> the gym. Oh, hey. There's March. Hey. Oh, it's you. If you need help with your new garden, go bother someone else. I'm busy. I kind of love him, you know? Just wait until... Just wait until it's Friday night at the at the um at the pub or at the the inn. Friday night at the inn, you see a whole new side of him. Oh wait, I'm supposed to go to the museum. Hi. Welcome Bingus. 
You can jump, yeah! I assume this is about my letter. Yup. Excellent. My talks with Lord Aelin and Lady Adeline. Uh, they entreated me to concern myself with objects from... What did it... I did not catch that. As well as the use of... Uh, use the museum to showcase the many unique specimens of Mystria. To wit, if you could bring me not only your archaeological finds, but also plants and six fish of the region. Yeah, I've already been doing that. Do you want bugs? Indeed. I'll display the items you donate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we get renown and rewards and all that. So what I like to, and to view the museum tutorial, I'm going to hit now. Yeah, you could also swim. Let's get digging. Splendid. As an official surveyor, let me give you a small stipend to welcome you. Thanks. I think I'm not interested because you are fun. <laughs> uh, money. Okay. Um... Ulrich, where are you? Oh, yeah, here, I'll show you swimming. Watch this. Watch this! Huh. Boing. How many people do you get to kiss in this game? Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. I think there's eleven total. You better still be here. I think that's him that I've seen. Or no, was it one of the kids? God dang it! No, we'll talk to Aiden. Hey, how's the soil quality on the old farm, Bingus? Those fields have been, uh, have been follow a good long while. Have been what? But they're wearing for some crops. Yeah, they're wearing for something. <laughs> what? Where's, where's bro at? Oh, I see him. Wait, I see him. Is it cutie? I, he's, uh, they're all so, ugh. I just, the music just makes me happy, you know? The music in this game just makes me happy. Uh, he went. Wait, no, where'd you go? Okay, you're in the tent, in the by the fountain. Give me my pickaxe. I march. I know you just arrived, but I want to get too comfortable. Okay, brat. All right, come back, brother. Oh my god, he's working out. Thanks for taking my request, Bingus. Now, where did I put that pickaxe? Why isn't he romanceable? It's really rude. This one is Toby Fox doing the music. Uh, I don't know. I don't think so. I feel like I would know. So you must be. Wow, you're incredibly ripped. <laughs> oh, thanks for noticing. I used to be a miner before the earthquake hit and we had to shut down the mines. I just help out around here. My brother is the blacksmith in town. If you want to know more about the mines, you should talk to Errol. He used to be the mine's foreman, but now he's our museum's caretaker. Curator. I respect him a lot. He's w he's way chiseled. Yeah, I mean, I know who Toby Fox is. I I know who he is. I just don't know. I don't think he did the music for this game because I feel like I would have known, you know? Not to be like, I would have known, but like, I don't know. You know? He's so ripped. Oh, he's telling us how to use the forge. I'm sure there's probably some kind of in-game reason why we can't romance him, you know? Oh. All right, are you out here? I need... Dot, 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 look at him. What are you doing here? Hi, March. <laughs> well, enjoy your chit chat with my brother, but try not to waste too much of his time. Or come to my room when you're done. I need to look over a blueprint. Okay, he's such. He's so. <laughs> he doesn't mean it. No, he does, actually. No, he means it. If you could, like, give March a chance, that'd be way cool of you. He doesn't have a lot of friends. I wonder why. Wonder why he doesn't have any friends. Uh. 
I can't see why. Can we romance the cranky one? We could, of course we could romance the cranky one. They let us romance the cranky brother, but not the 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 ripped and shredded brother. <laughs> they let us romance the brother, but not the bro. Oh look, there he is. Hey. Good morning. <laughs> morning. Not even more. Hey, hey. Town's nice, isn't it? It's very nice. Friendliness could be a little overwhelming at first. Be get used to it. Is friendliness what you'd refer to? Um, you know, I don't. Oh, look, they're chatting. I think you can actually listen to their conversation sometimes. Or I'm coming along. Yeah. Sometimes when there's NPCs talking to each other, you can actually like listen to their conversations, which is really cool. I was hoping you could keep an eye out for Celine since you were just down the road. She only recently moved out to her own place and a mother worries. It's not my job to keep an eye on your children. She's literally there and I'm all the way down here. Rock. Thanks. Time for farm cleanup. There's ads playing, but um, I'm literally just gonna be cleaning up the farm because we need wood and stone for this quest anyway. I know, right? They literally live right down the road from her too. <laughs> Not even they live just like one like one up from her like <laughs> what do you mean? Need me to keep an eye out. I think she just means hey, you should date my daughter actually. <laughs> Everybody wants to set up the new farmer with their children and or siblings, I don't know. Just like real life. Uh -oh. We need to eat our soup. Hey, I guess it's so much energy. I could move. I could clear the rocks out from our our plot. So we don't have a shovel yet. I think one of my favorite things to do in like games like this is just clean up the farm, you know? I don't know why, it's just, it's very satisfying to me. To be like, yeah, let me spend hours in game just clearing up all this stuff, you know? Resource gathering such things so stimmy and soothing to you. Yeah, same. That's what it is. Just give me a game that's just me doing this, you know? Oh. We're EP. Can't work no more. Okay. Uh, I think we can turn this quest in. Where are you? You're still on the bridge. Playing some solo Valheim for the first time, just living for chopping trees and ore mining. I feel like I couldn't really get into Valheim like uh, some other people could. Here. 
Oh, where'd you go? You're in the bathhouse. No? You in here? There you are. Hey. All things being as your life, Sarah will be able to finish my project materials. Here's your reward. Money! Okay. I think I'm just still gonna keep collecting. No, I can't, because I'm tired. Hey, what are y'all talking about? Swing by the farm whenever you like, being as the animals are friendly and they love meeting new people. Oh, but it's no rush. I'm sure you got plenty to do with the getting the lay of the land here in Mysteria. Oh, I'll be right over. Don't judge March by his first impression. Or his second impression! Or maybe his third. Oh. I guess you gotta judge him by it at some point. Oh, I'm judging. And my judgment is that he's a little cutie pie. I mean, what? Give me more quests. Eh. Hey. Turn money in the beginning. Uh, mm, no, maybe, but I also just kept spending my money on cosmetics. So I think that was just maybe a me problem. Uh, <laughs> actually you do, um, there is magic and you can learn magic. Not to like, uh, um, spoil too much, you know, but I feel like uh, to be honest, for me, I feel like I don't know if it's just that the games are kind of a little difficult to earn money in the beginning, or if it's like a me problem, you know? Like, am I the problem? <laughs> uh, am I just not doing things right so I have a hard time earning money, or like what? I'm just gonna sleep. <sighs> I like to tell us that sometimes you just want to buy the thing to do things and not get your butt absolutely hit too. Fair. Oh. Well met, mortal. Hey, um, do you see the? Do you see next to uh, Calderas's name? There's a. There's a. There's a heart. There's a. There's a heart next to there, next to the dragon's name. You're the guardian dragon. <laughs> uh, I'm Calderas, the guardian of uh, mystery. I thank you for repairing my shrine. I have been asleep since. Since? There's a dragon, yeah. It's the guardian of the, the, to the town. Well, I can't seem to remember exactly. Even now, my mind is shrouded in fog. Magical essence has begun to flow again in mystery uh, of that much, I'm certain. I ask to extend your assistance once more, mortal. I need you to collect this essence and offer it at my shrine so that I may regain my strength. I hereby bestow upon you the ability to sense and collect essence. You should find it naturally when going about your daily tasks. Would you like to view the skill perk? So we do get um, skill perks. Romance will drag and I'm sold. So like from doing activities, you find like these little purple sparkly biddies that give you um, thingies so you can um, do like skill perks and stuff. I grow tired. Me too. Let us speak again tomorrow at my shrine. I'm honored you can count on me. Sleep now, mortal. We will speak again soon. Maybe we should just romance the statue. I'm assuming that the the it's the the there's gonna be like a human form. I would assume. I don't know. Some kind of like magical. Ooh. You <laughs> don't want that. Only want dragon. Who can compete with a dragon? Real and true. Ah, oh, what a crazy dream. I mean, he's still a dragon, even if he if he can change to a human. Uh, repair the bridge quest. Let's go. Wait, what do I have to do? Do I have to go talk to her somewhere? Oh, near the bridge. After I water me crops.
I don't remember how much wood and stone I needed for the bridge repair. They'll, yeah, they'll fit in our house in human form. I don't think, um, I don't think they'll probably, they'll probably won't fit in, uh, dragon form. So, um, you know. Have you tried? No. Let's expand the house. That's expensive. I've seen all the little fishies. I feel like maybe it's like 50 of each. I don't know. Let's go and check. Oh, hey. Hey. Ah, uh, greetings, mortal. The time has come for you to begin collecting essence. Essence will appear in the form of small purple orbs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Use this friend when you want to offer your collected essence. Do I have any right now? Skill perks. I grow tired. Okay, bye. I have seven. So this is, uh, what it all looks like. And then in the top here, you can see the little purple orb with your essence. Boing, boing, boing. That's fine. My requests, my presents. Oops. It does kind of look like we're skipping. Wee. <laughs> this cool rock when I was wandering around the Narrows. Think you could identify it for me? This one's a pudding stone. You're a long way from home, little fella. Like, they're talking. This, it just, like, also this game, it just feels so, like, you know, like, like, you know, being able to, like, see NPCs, like, talking to each other, and then, like, actually um, hear their conversation, you know? Love it. Girlie, what are you doing down here? Hey. I know what you're thinking. I wasn't expecting to spend my hottest years in this podunk town, but here I am. Oh, just me? Hmm. No, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it makes the world feel alive and like full, yeah. That's something you were like in Animal Crossing. Just want to know the tea. I just want to know the tea, you know? Yeah, I want to know what's going on. Uh, I don't even know I'm up for it, but this is a big project. You rely on me to keep mystery supplied with the basics until the construction is done, but I can't work miracles. Without the bridge, I can't get my wagon in and out of town, and there's only so much I can carry in on my back. I've allocated all the resources I can for this, but the earthquake relief from the capital hasn't been as robust as we'd hoped for. I talked it over with the other merchants in town. We're happy to contribute funds. You've got our backing. That's wonderful to hear, Nora. However, with the whole kingdom in dire need of repair materials, we can't afford the inflated prices on the stone and wood we'll need. Uh, sounds like it's my time to shine. Wonderful, Bingus. I knew you were the right person for the job. Oh, I love gathering materials. Gathering materials locally would definitely speed things up. Farmland is your of yours is loaded with high quality stone and timber, Bingus. If you're willing to do the gathering, we can compensate for the materials. By my calculations, 60 stone and 60 wood, okay. I'm sure you'll come through. Yeah, I got like half of that, I think. Um, and with the bridge repaired, we'll be able to get the Saturday market up and running again. Please, that's what I want. I want to buy stuff. That's all I care about really, is buying goodies. We can actually give um, at the at the um, market, you can actually buy like little little horns. So it'll be fun to to give Bingus some horns. Oh, 
imagine I you know I realized I didn't even change Bingus' skin tone. Can I make Bingus purple? Dang, only only normal skin tones. So I need like 30 more of each. Yeah, oh, I got a new top. Five berries. Probably one of your favorite game mechanics. I just love making a little guy. I know, look at like, this is... Look at that, wild. Boing. Boing, boing. Boing, boing. They're still chatting. They're still yapping. Where's March? There he is. Can I give him a flower? You want this? Wait, hold on. Hey, you want this? Oh, but you better clean up after yourself. Do you want this? Why did you think I'd want this? Why would anyone want this? He hated it. I wish it told you they're disliked gifts. So that way you know not to give them certain gifts again, you know? <laughs> Oopsie. Maybe he did like it and he just. Um. Are you in? Oh no, you're over there. <sighs> Playing hard to get, man. Awful strike with a pickaxe is a great way to move any furniture you have placed. Oh, yeah. Y'all. Hey. Just smell the fresh morning air. Sure thing. It's always so fun having new people in town. It's be a much livelier town back before the earthquake. Hope you're the first of many. Wait, where am I going? Come back, I have berries for you. <laughs> My snack. Thank you for your consideration. Thanks. Money. Okay, I gotta go chop more trees and uh, whatever. Can I afford the bathhouse? I actually don't know how much it is. A hundred? No. Absolutely not. He doesn't judge you. <laughs> Thanks. Can't afford that. A puppy, yeah, is a baby. His name is Dozy. He runs the. He technically runs the bathhouse. Juniper cannot be. <gasps> hey, gotta make hay while the sun shines. So true. What are you selling over here today? Plaid flannel, worn sandals, long pleated skirt, stud earrings, and a face mask. How much does this give me energy back? Eh, a little bit. Munch on these berries. My inventory.
Yo, my other other complaint. Oh, you could also shake trees. Forgot about that. Acorn. Um, what was I gonna say? Is that like when you're behind, like trees and stuff, you can't see what's back there. That gets a little annoying, you know. I need to eat more stuff. Down these berries I got, maybe. I don't got a kitchen yet. Just gonna munch on a bunch of berries. This is, these are barely doing anything. <laughs> Can you go behind them? Yeah, just like, just, I want them to be like, just slightly transparent. The tiniest bit. Don't think I have enough energy to do anything else. Might just go to bed for the day. I think that's all we can really do uh, right now. 5 p.m. going to bed. Me in real life. <laughs> me in real life being like, oh, I'm so tired. Woo. Money. It's also Reese's birthday. Quick, what is he like? I'm gonna look it up. I feel like I should, I need to make an effort. Oh, it's raining. Um, hold on, I would like to actually try to make an effort to gift people things for their birthday. Hold on. Uh, let's see. I hate how quiet it goes. Uh, birthday gifts. Oh, that's what you say. Okay, what do you... Oh, those are your loves. Liked gifts. Wood. I just give him a... <laughs> and stone. I just give him a rock. You're like, here, happy birthday. Here's a rock. Just, just like me. Uh... I don't got to water the garden at least. Also, I'm pretty sure I turned off. Hold on, because when it storms, yeah, I turned off the the screen flash already. Um, so just be be aware. Um, if you get the game, um, it's kind of you know like it's like um, when it's storming, the screen does flash for like lightning. So I would make sure to turn that off. Um, before it gets to, you get like stormy weather in your game. Seems autism coded to be like, happy birthday, here's a rock. Or to want like rocks. Yeah. It is. Yeah, true. And to gift rocks. Be like, here's this rock. It reminded me of you. Made me think of you. Can't wait to get a, a net to catch bugs. That's also autism coded. Wanting to catch bugs. I still like to look at. I still like to look, look at rocks or like sort through rocks. Yeah. Like wow, look at this cool rock. Or when you're on the beach and you find cool like shells, you know. And told me. <laughs> uh. I 
I've used all my energy already. Uh, okay, I gotta go give Reese a cool rock. Put stuff away. Yippee! Box somewhere of cool rocks and shells you collected as a child. Why are your dresses have pockets to collect stuff? Uh, the people of my time had a saying that they passed down through many generations. Don't forget that there's a jump button. <laughs> yeah, yep. Yeah. Woo! Hey, you're over there. Reading glasses, reading glasses. Pirate boots, a headband. Pirate boots. Okay, the rest were wild leak. And then we got, uh, okay, let's go meet this kid. We get the bug net we, from the, the kid who likes bugs, which I think is great. <laughs> and then I was all like, whoosh. And then, bzz, and then I was like, wham! Surprise, surprise. Oh, amazing. Bangus, you came. Are you ready to become an entomologist? Yeah. It means someone who studies insects. I knew that. Yeah, that's what I do. There are a lot of cool bugs in Mystria, and Mr. Errol at the museum agreed to ha have a whole wing dedicated to them. I'm so excited. So are we, until now Luke's been bringing all his finds back to his room. Uh oh, bugs can't be good for business. But it's a big job, being the only entomologist in Mys uh, Mystria. Will you join me? I've got to catch them all. That's what I like to hear. I want to give you my old net. It brought me a lot of luck over the years, but I think it's time to pass it to a new generation of bug catchers. So sweet. Look at that form! I will not let you down, kiddo. Don't forget to bring any new bugs you find to Errol at the museum. Yeah, please don't bring them here. Dang. Be sure to tell me all about any neat bugs you find, Bengus. I will. I'll tell you about every single bug I find. Now we got our bug net. Oh, I mean, yeah, it was that was a Pokemon reference. It's obvious. It was. It obviously was. <laughs> boing, boing. Are you still over here? Yeah. Anyway, happy birthday. I'm gonna give you a rock. For me? You know it was my birthday? Thanks, Bingus. This means a lot. <gasps> he blushed. Anyway, Aelin told me that the bridge had stood for hundreds of years before that earthquake. Damn. Hopefully the new bridge will last even longer. Hopefully. Hopefully some cool and rad new farmer helps rebuild the bridge. Okay, I have enough wood. I just need nine more stone. That's it. But I don't have enough energy. Uh, uh. I think I got to go buy some food. Actually, it will probably be cheaper to just use the bathhouse than buy food. So, we'll do that. Are you here for a bath? Yeah. Wait. Yes, you do look like you need one. Can you afford that? Yeah, here you go. This game is not free. It is it's $14, $13. It's on Steam. It's in early access right now, though. What are the main differences? Um, it's better. <laughs> um, there's diversity. Um, there's this hot witch lady. Um, there's a cute dog. I hope you enjoyed your bath, but remember if you feel any ill effects such as light, headache, insomnia, or sudden tail growth, it is merely a random coincidence. Are you sure about that? Um, one, you could, you got pronouns. You could change them, too. You could change your name. 
mid-game, you could change the name of your farm. You could change how you look at any any time. Oh, I forgot to show you. You could also select presets. Um, you can you can just completely create your like make your little guy and have like presets for different like outfits if you want. Um. So you know. All of the shops are always open. Wait, what, what did I have to do? I have to collect nine more stone. Um, all of the shops are always open. Um, you don't have to like, there's there's no days that there's they're closed and you don't have to, there's like no attendance. Um, so if you like, you just like click on things. They're always open, even late at night. You could just go in. Um, the art style is very much like 90s, like show, shoujo, like anime and manga, like very like Sailor Moon. It's very nostalgic. Um, you can jump. There's jumping. Also check this out. Wait, wait, hold on. Watch this. Hey -ya! You can swim. They're swimming. Look, a snail. Hey -ya! <laughs> Caught my first bug. Uh, what am I? Oh, nine, nine stone. Um, I have not played Graveyard Keeper, no, but I, I know of it. I think Mr. Goth Dad actually played it. Um, also, one of my fa- Oh, you can't see it. This? Um, oh, didn't they add in a star- in a Stardew update? Um, that you can now see, um, if you've actually donated something to the museum. Didn't they add that in an update? Or in the last update? They didn't have that before, but I think you can see it now. Or maybe it was a mod I had, I don't know. I don't remember. Why am I- I need to collect stone, why am I chopping wood? Um, yeah, I think the, the biggest, um, the biggest things for me and differences, like, compared, because, you know, everybody wants to compare everything to Stardew Valley, right? Um, the biggest difference, diversity, huge, you know, huge bonus, obviously, Stardew Valley has a, does, it's not very great when it, when it came to having a, a lot of diverse, t um, uh, NPCs, right? Um, shoot, what else was I going to say? The the shops, being able to buy anything at any time, uh, being able to change your character at any time, your name, your pronouns, all that stuff. Um, shoot, what was the other thing I was going to mention? This game feels more like, to me, this feels more like a classic RPG than like a farming game. Even though it is a, it, it is a farming, you know a farming game, it just, it doesn't, like, feel like one. It gives me a lot of nostalgia. Um. Oh! I remember what I was gonna say. Um. That the, uh, the world and the characters feel alive. Um. You could just, like, walk by and they'll, like, you can run into characters having, like, conversations with each other. Um. There's, like, town events where, like, they're, like, doing stuff. Uh, it, it's like, I just, uh, it's really good. Except it's a farming sim. It's a farming sim. Hey, I finished, I did the thing. Turn in. Hey there, Bingus. What's up? I gathered what we needed to repair the bridge. That's great news. Come on, let's go tell everyone. I did it. It's time. Let's get this bridge repaired. Also, there's a dragon you can romance, so just saying. Let's work Bengus. Now it's my turn. So let us know what we can help with. No one else matters. Only dragon. We did it. Are we done? Feels like we're done. 
We sure are. This bridge is going to last a long, long time. Great job, everyone. I'll, uh, I'll let the Saturday market merchants know that the bridge is repaired. Saturday market! So that we can guarantee that Saturday will be uh, market day in Mystery again. Cheers to that! I think I might be able to... Mm, no, I'm not gonna... I wanna wait till the Saturday market before I buy other stuff, because I wanna buy stuff at the Saturday market. You know? I don't got enough room in my pockets. Oh, I can go, um... Yeah. I can go diving at the beach and show you all that, too. <gasps> Hi, March! I heard Ulrich is at the, at the wood shop. Is he getting in trouble with the old timers again? I don't know. I didn't, is he over there? Oh, he is over there. <laughs> How do you know? It's Thursday. Ooh, Friday night um, at the inn is a fun time. Oh, there's that fresh face. Don't look at me like that. I hope the town's treating you well. Well. Boing, boing. I guess I can actually maybe... Well, I'll go to my... Uh, what kind of fun? You'll see. It's just like Friday night at the inn, like everybody in the town goes to like hang out and um, do stuff. So that's, that's nice. It's nice to see, like you get to see all the townspeople like interact with each other, um, which is which is really fun. Uh, I can sell those, but I need to donate the ladybug. Welcome in. Okay, let's go to the beach and we can go diving for stuff. Mm -hmm. I have not played that either, no. I don't really get to play, uh... It's hard to play, like, you know, a lot of games. When you're a content creator. Here's the beach. Hey oh, hey oh, I can go diving and get fish. <laughs> I don't have any room in my inventory, so I got one fish. Uh, okay, I don't need to donate that. I can just sell that. Eight PM. And I can harvest those. These things again, but I don't have any space in my inventory. Bug. Wait. Dang it. There was a bug out. Oh, I can collect these, actually. Water chestnuts. Oh my god, I have a random question for, uh, I was just thinking about it because it's happening to my face right now. Um, for people who have been on Accutane before, did you, would your face just, like, get really warm randomly? That's my question for, th for the day. Yours didn't? Okay. <laughs> I'm like, is this a... I was like, look it up, because I noticed I got... My dose got increased again. Right? And then I noticed that my face would, like... It almost feels... You know, like, when... It's almost like, uh... Does it make your skin so sensitive? That's something that can happen? Yeah, I looked it up, and it does seem to be, like, a side effect that some people um, have had. And it's like, it doesn't... My face doesn't, like... I don't know if it... It doesn't look red... And I don't think it feels hot to the touch, but it feels warm, you know? Almost like like I'm just hot, but it's just my face. So I'm like, huh. Um, keep those. I'll sell that. 
Also, Tucker didn't fall winter time for six months. Fair. Yeah, because I'm like, nothing else has changed in my um, day to day that I feel like would uh, like cause my face being warm. And I felt fine otherwise, and it just happens like randomly, so. I'm like just assuming that it's from my Accutane. Especially because, like I said, I just got put back on a higher dose again. Denver Teller's appointment since your skin has been so clear. So you're like, well, I saved $50 on a copay. <laughs> oh, I'm me throwing my axe. Whoops. I'm just gonna trap. What is this? Hey. I'm still good. Trying to see how much I can do before it hits almost 2 a.m. Okay, and that's how much we could do. <laughs> I love how the game just like warns you that you're tired before you actually like pass out and then you can't do anything. Actually, I should probably take a break. I'm realizing. Yeah, it's really nice when games... Uh, <laughs> it's nice to have a game where it doesn't, like, you... It is like, hey, maybe you need to chill so you don't, like, pass out. Friday night at the inn. Okay, I'm gonna take a break. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take a break here. You can look at Bingus. Um, and I'm gonna run some ads. I go piss pal. That's what I'm gonna do. Um, so I will be back in a few minutes while these ads run. Everybody go piss pal. Go get some water. More caffeine. Uh, take your meds. Med check. Okay, I'll be back.
Michael had a good break. <sighs> Sorry for yawning. Took off my cardigan and now I kind of regret, regret, regret. Now I'm a little chilly. Uh, I'm too lazy to get back up though. Maybe it'll help my face not feel warm. Week what? I also got a, a Coke Zero. So I'm just, I'm already burp, burpy, so. Might as well become more burpy, right? Um, Friday. Friday. Ooh, my crops! Turnip! Okay. I probably should buy more, um, crops, but the, the, See, that's the thing. You know, I should buy more crops, but the Saturday market's tomorrow. Amistria has a tradition where everyone gathers at the Sleeping Dragon Inn on Friday nights. That's tonight, and this is your invitation. Meet me at the inn after 6 p.m. tonight. I'll keep uh, keep me company, and I'll throw in a free drink. Uh, your husband bought a 2.5-gallon bag of Coke Zero syrup. Damn. <laughs> Honestly, though, I feel like if you have, like, a, you know, if, like, that's your beverage, right? If that's, like, your go-to beverage, honestly, you're in the long run. Wait, what is here in the way? Something here is in the way. Okay, grass. In the long run, like, that's, you're saving so much money, you know? You're, it's, you know, uh, think, what is, what's the, think smarter, not harder? Is that the saying? Is that what? Is that how that goes? That's uh, that's what it is. <gasps> Chickpeas. Chickpea. I want my fishing pole. I'm pretty sure I have to buy it though. And give a turnip. Oops. <laughs> it just got tossed. Turnip, donate. Hey. Dig up art oh, I keep forgetting to go to the thing to dig up artifacts. I forgot. We should probably go do that. up here yes. get one artifact per day What's that ancient gold coin slay Let's go donate this I wonder if I wonder if it's always going to be that you can only get one artifact per day. Or if uh, they're going to let you get more at some point. Donate that. Artifact set. Say. What do I have to do? Oh, I need to go check on my uh, quest stuff. I'm gonna save, I should probably save these turnips because I think that somebody will get a request and then they want a turnip. Unless it's, unless we do now. Pants. I need to get one caterpillar and bring one lilac. 
to find a caterpillar. Watch, watch, I'm not going to be able to find one now. Uh, that I have a request to find one. I've seen them everywhere, though. Caterpillar. Actually, I think I'm just going to save one turnip. I saw the other one. The game auto saves um, when you sleep, but you can save in the journal at any time. Which I forgot to do. The only thing is, if you have multiple saves, there's only one bed save, which is the auto save. So there's only one auto save file from sleeping. So even if you have multiple saves, it'll and you play one save and then go back to another one, it'll overwrite that auto save across all of your save files. So you always want to remember to save with the journal, so that way you can have your multiple saves without things getting messed up. If the, I hope that makes sense. Wait, what did I need? You needed a... Uh... Also, I'm going to put on... Um, this outfit. Make a purple. There we go. What am I doing? Um, so I need to sell this. <laughs> and then I need uh, a lilac. I forgot to grab a lilac. Hoard everything. Here, I'm assuming she's a... Uh, So simply born on TCC. Fair enough. I have your flower. Turn in request. Well, well. I know this little request board scheme actually works. I'm impressed. Now follow me. Okay. She's gonna perform witchcraft on me. What are you little gremlins doing here? We're following that smell. That super gross smell. If I knew baths could make you smell like this, I wouldn't try to avoid them. It's like stink armor. What's in this cauldron isn't for the bath. It's for a health tonic. With one sip, you'll be instantly refreshed. Doesn't sound very convincing. No one is going to drink that if it tastes as bad as it smells. But I have yet to add the final ingredient. Bingus, if you would. There you go. Throw that in. There we are. The unfortunate smell has cleared right up. Don't you agree, Bingus? It smells like old wet socks or smells like fresh fertilizer. I'd say it smells like old wet socks. <laughs> An obvious improvement. Now who to test it on? Ooh, ooh, me, me. While I admire your enthusiasm, Dell, I think we should reward the intrepid adventurer who retrieved the final ingredient. Oh. All right, bottoms up. She killed me. Cool. <laughs> hmm, very interesting. The lilac appears to have inverted the potion's intended effect. Uh, you don't say. Bingus doesn't look too good. We should go get Dr. Valen. Uh, there's no need to get that woman involved. Here now, Bingus, why don't you toddle off to the bath? It's on me. How can I move after that? <laughs> Bath time. Oh, to be in a nice warm dragon bathtub. All refreshed. Sea kids, right as rain. And to make sure there's no lingering effects, your next five bathhouse visits are free. Yay. Who would ever want to take that many baths? Yuck. 
Thank you again for your assistance, Bingus. I'll be sure to call on you again in the future. Now, why don't you scoot out of here? I need to do a post-experiment write-up. Yeah, about how you almost killed me. Are you sure we could help with... We could help you come up with lots of ways to describe how bad it smells. <laughs> Old with Hot garbage. Dog burps. <laughs> oh, I did it. Anyway, okay, and then what else did we have to do again? Oh, I forgot about the wild leak. I think I, I'm pretty sure I saved one. I'm like hoarding stuff this time around. Because in the, the one I'm doing off, off stream, I was just selling everything. And then I'm like, why am I doing it? Why did I do that? I know better, you know? Keep it on the request board. I occasionally post jobs that are more suited to an adventurer like yourself. I can assure you that they'll be lucrative for both of us. Cool. Great. Also, we gotta wait till 6 p.m. for the, um... Night at the inn. <sighs> Wild leak. Right? And we still need, we need to run around for a caterpillar. Butterfly! Oh, yeah. That's almost a caterpillar. <laughs> I donate that. No, I can just sell it. Who needs that? That's not my net. Hey up! I mean, bird hawk moth. I don't need to donate that either. So relax. What are we doing? Uh, are we doing this tomorrow? We're either doing this tomorrow or um, because tomorrow is our um, HelloFresh sponsored stream, and then tomorrow night is PowerPoint night, which I need to remember. I need to double check with Beeps that tomorrow is still chill, just in case anything came up. Um, but so tomorrow is our HelloFresh sponsored stream, and I'm probably only gonna stream for like three hours. So we're gonna do our chatting, our our chatting stuff. We're gonna chat. And then, um, we're going to do the two hour sponsored stream and then I'll probably get off, um, after that. Cause then we have the stream at night. So I don't want to like push myself too hard, you know? Right. Um, but I want to try, it will really depend if we play this or not tomorrow. It'll depend on if, um, um, I'm going to try to get the VR headset we have working on my computer to stream because I thought it'd be funny and fun to try to play cooking simulator in VR for the HelloFresh sponsor stream. I thought that, ooh, wait, a morel. I haven't even, I haven't even found that in my other game. Um, but I thought that could be fun. It's either going to be fun or I'm going to throw up from VR. I don't know. <laughs> Um, so we'll see. Also, I, me and Mr. Gothad are gonna have to spend, you know, all evening trying to set it up, too. To make sure it actually works. It was between that or, um... Isn't there, like, a... Oh, grass. Oh, yeah. Isn't there a Cooking Mama ga game on the... Oh, yeah. On the Switch. I also thought about getting Cooking Mama. I thought that would have been funny. But I don't, honestly... If I could avoid playing console games for a while until I could get a new cam link or something for my camera. Because I can't really use my capture card right now. Or I'm using my capture card for my camera because my cam link was it broke. It's busted. But I also really don't want to buy another Elgato one. I really don't. But I don't know what else there is to get. Uh, who am I giving this leak to? Oh, it's it's almost six. We gotta go. It's it's the fun time at the inn. Oh, look. Wait, who gave me that quest? Oh. I literally have two quests to turn into you. You're welcome. Potato soup. Uh, you made it. What did I tell you? It's a full house. Why don't you go around and see what everyone's up to? Um, oh, and here's your free drink. Mixed fruit juice. 
Okay, let's chat with, uh, this is where, remember when I, t when I mentioned March's behavior? Watch this. Uh, Landon, these other folks in their games, I like to really sit with a drink and appreciate it, you know what I mean? Certainly. Better to turn your senses to one thing and give it the attention it deserves into that right young March. Bengus, come here, come here. I'll let you in on a little secret. You're not so bad. Uh, oh, what was I saying again? He's... He's a little intoxicated, you know. He's a little, look at him. Look at that, look, look at his little smile. His, his little smile. Oh, he's so, he's very, he's very drunk. He cannot handle his, his juice. <laughs> oh my. It seems our young blacksmith is a bit of a lightweight. He's letting loose. It's all an act. It's because he's drinking the cheap stuff. Just like you, Phelan. <laughs> Having no palate is nothing to be ashamed of. Here, try some of my wine, you'll see. Uh, I suppose you've had plenty of time to refine your tastes. But as a doctor, I simply cannot recommend drinking at home alone. <laughs> A girl can't get a little sloppy on a Monday night. <laughs> this is why we have a reputation for being stiff, Phelan. A girl can't get a little sloppy on a Monday night alone in her in the privacy of her own home. God, I, I adore her so much. Uh, I have a reputation. Question mark? Come here and sit with me, Bingus. The girls are fighting. What fun. The girlies are fighting. Hey, hey. Are Valen and Juniper gonna are they gonna kiss? Hit me. Oh, she sounds pretty confident, don't you think, Reese? Wish I could say. I just deal the cards, man. I'm in for fifty more tes tessere? I think that's how you yeah, tessere that seems right. Oh ho. That bluff won't work on me. Are you quite certain you don't need any more cards, Nora? Are you sure you don't need any more cards, Errol? Now, now, let's keep it friendly. No need to get worked up. Hey guys, four of a kind is good, right? Or should I hold out for five of a kind, guys? Oop. Okay, this is where the fun is, watch this. Welcome to our inaugural session of Dragons and Drama. I'll be striving to provide a historically accurate experience but if you slip on any details, please speak up. They're playing Dungeons and Dragons. I wrote a backstory for my character, Bingus. She's a druid. She could talk to flowers. She loves nature, but I don't get what to do with all these numbers. Follow my lead, Celine. I set all of these useless stats to one, so my mind stat could be 67. Which you think, you, which you would think is impossible for a starter character, but if you look at the rules section, 107 paragraph 2 you'll see that uh adeline sure knows her stuff look here bingus i'm willing out some miniatures for the game this is celine's druid daffodilia and this is adeline's wizard moonsilver and this is valor's thief snickle fritz me i'm bad brad the bearded bard please call him by his full name bad brad is this what I get for arriving late to the cards table? I have no idea what's going on. Or why everyone keeps calling me Snickle Fritz. Also, each, uh, each session, like each weekend, they progress. And you get to like hear all the little details. Bad Brad would definitely seduce a dragon. Sometimes I can't tell if those two are friends or enemies. I suppose it isn't too important as long as they can share a drink. I also, I literally saw, <laughs> we were talking in our group chat and Shella was saying she's playing this for the first time on stream today and I'm excited for her. She's gonna love this game so much. <laughs> Lynn has been talking about this game of his for weeks. I hope the others are excited as he is. Uh, yeah, they sure seem excited. Oh. Okay. Game froze for a second. Hey kiddos. Bengus, don't let anyone see you. Got it. The coast is clear. Now, before we tell you anything, you have to pinky swear you won't tell anyone. I swear. I swear. Because we're planning a heist. Luke is the brains. Dell's the brawn. 
I'm the face. <laughs> and you're the carrier biggest. And our target is Mr. Ballard. What? Oh, his secrets, more precisely. Why does he always keep his door locked? Is it because we keep trying to go in there uninvited? We're going to find out. Meet us here next week. Oh. Progression. Gotta meet the kids here next week. Next Friday. We're gonna... I, I think I'm pretty sure I could just go into his room, can't I? I'm pretty sure this is his room. Hmm. Smells of rum! Oh, hi, Jimmy. Welcome in. <laughs> Excuse me. I mean, that's Friday night at the inn. Fun stuff. And then tomorrow we got the Saturday market. And we're going to spend all of our money on things on things that don't matter when we should be getting crops to grow and sell. Why would we do that, though? You know, why would we do that when we could buy things to make us look nice, right? Riddle me this. Why would I spend our our money on things that are important? Put that away, actually. It's not like this is a farming sim. Could have fooled me, you know? Oh, yeah, ladybug. Oh, I still want to find a caterpillar moth. Fuzzy moth. Yeah, don't have to donate that. Is it cause... Yeah, then more money for clothes? Well... Maybe you got me there. I'm trying to use as much of our stamina up as I can before it gets dark. I think I can break this yet? Not yet. Um, I think we're playing Among Us like the last week of the month. This month. So not till like the end of the month. Get out of my fields. Wait, did we talk to Dragon yet? You've helped to repair the bridge into town? Well done, Bengus. I'm sure the other villagers appreciate your efforts. They do. So I we can pick one of these now. Harvesting a forageable will occasionally drop a seed version if it can be grown. Going to bed with zero stamina gives you a stamina boost the next day. Planting a seed will sometimes also water the soil. Let's do that. Water in a crop will sometimes refund stamina use and that. Don't, we can't fish yet, so that doesn't really matter. Digging up peat, sod, and clay will sometimes drop double the usual amount. That doesn't really matter either. We'll just get this. What time is it? I am home. Oh, I'm just clearing things out, okay? Ah, oh, the sounds of nighttime. at the at my clock 
I will not be passing out. Shoes. Saturday market. Yeah. Okay. I think these crops are these done. Oh yeah. Great the vendors, reopening the mines. Maybe at the manor house. Okay. Wait, oh, there's one more. Oh, yeah, I get the weather crystal ball now. Great vendors. Handling at the manor. At the museum. And I still gotta find a caterpillar. So the crystal ball is how we check the weather. Tomorrow there will be a thunderstorm! Oh, look, you can see the little lightning bolt in the crystal ball. I think that's so fun compared to, like, a TV, you know? Or because, you know, like, obviously there's no TVs in this universe, world, whatever, you know? So you get a fun little weather crystal ball. Saturday market! Look at there's little stuff. We gotta greet the vendors. Hey. That Friday night's at the end. It was so nice to see everyone relaxing. Oh, wait, there's a thing. Start to get money. An adventurer's boots. Um, we need. Oh. We need sod and peat. Hmm. Who needs a TV when you got a crystal ball? Vendors, hey. Hello there, welcome to Darcy's Cafe. Yes, I'm Darcy. <laughs> if you're ever in the mood for a nice cup of coffee or a sweet treat, be sure to stop by. Everything is made fresh. Thank you. Oh, you're the hair. Okay. Vera, hello. If you're looking for a new hairstyle, you're talking to the right person. My name is Vera. I'm a traveling hairstylist. I've been all over Aldaria. Is I living on a quest? I don't think so, no. Also, I don't think that, um, I don't think that the quests run out of time either, as far as I've noticed, because I think I've had quests kind of, like, stocked up, or, like, re requests and stuff, right, like, stocked up, and I just keep forgetting about them, or I couldn't do them right away, so I don't think they, um, uh, I don't think there's a time limit on them either, which is nice. some cute hairstyles oh i really like this one this is the one i have on my uh on my uh offline okay and then up here <gasps> i march this understands that i need clothes that are durable he's reliable that way <laughs> greetings and salutations my name is louise louis louise Lewis. If you're looking for an article of clothing, you may rest assured that I personally cut and sew every garment you'll find at my booth. Thank you. My stock changes with the week. Don't wait. Neil, you know, we'll look at it in a second, and then you sell furniture. Welcome to Mary's Antiques. I'm Mary. I saw all sorts of unique furniture here that I source and restore myself. The selection is always changing. If you see something you like, snag report to Spears. Thank you. Oops. Don't tell anyone, but I usually order half of Louis Lewis's collection before he officially releases it. Wow. Horns. Maid dress. I have this outfit on my other on my other save. Um, oversized T fit, tangerine hat, striped long sleeve. We got pride. 
pride stuff. There's a bucket hat. I think I want to get horns. Because, you know, Bingus has horns. Important purchase. Hat. Oh, I gotta forget about this. Ta -da. Very important purchase. Look at us. Now this is Bengus. Tempted to buy a new hairstyle too, because I really like this one. But um I think this hairstyle is also fine. But the music is giving Pokemon and really loving it. It's so I love the music so much. It's just it just sounds really nostalgic, you know. I suggested I dye my hair seaweed green. Now that would be a sight. Have you made any friends yet? Uh, define friends. My nephew Reese also moved here pretty recently. I bet you two would get on like a house on fire. Oh. Maybe I should let Vera style my hair. Maybe. What if I went red to match March? I think I'm stealing his thunder, though. Oh my god, are they besties? I keep trying to get out of... I keep trying to get out of Lord Aelin's little game, but he made me a character in everything. Still, what kind of name is Snickle Fritz? He can't let it go. Oh, yeah, I gotta turn that in. Thanks, Bingus. Isn't the market great? Here's a reward. You can buy something from your favorite stall. Can I buy... Can I buy... Uh... No, I'm gonna save my money. I'm like, should I buy a hairstyle? No. I'll save our money so we can buy crops. Snickerfritz is a great name for like, a, what is the game? Dragons and drama. Uh, your request is reasonable, but can I suggest we add a sleep aid to the list of medicines it keeps well? We ran short in the days after the earthquake. It'd be a weight off my mind to know we have some extra stock. It is still D&D, &D, true actually. Dragons and drama, yeah. Um, our first aid supply should cover all the bases. Excellent, I'll get to work. I'm here. I like my horns. Here to pitch in as well, Bingus. Uh, why am I here? Any hands make light work, I'll leave you to it. Two, I'll leave you two to it. Thanks for answering my letter. Send out personal requests to anyone who might be able to help us rebuild our emergency stockpile. I don't like to think what might have might have happened without it in the aftermath of the earthquake. Unfortunately, it's pretty used up right now. You won't believe how many berries I could donate. <laughs> I had something a little more substantial in mind. Oh. Could you ship 10 crops to help resupply our food ration? Oh, yeah, we got 10 potato seeds. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. also grow more um, turnips. Turnips? I should probably just go buy some turnips. So we got 10 more potatoes. Um, I'll go buy some turnips. Oh, we still gotta go to the museum. It's 2.50. I don't buy anything of potatoes. What about cabbage? I got my five cabbage seeds. I can't buy ten. How long does these cabbage slow growing crop can be harvested once? Oh, nine days. I think I could buy like five of these. Because I buy ten. Ten, ten, five. Cannot afford any, uh strawberries though strawberries are 300 gold for one seed cabbages sell for 180 each 
Strawberry sell from 125, but they harvest every three days. Should I buy like one strawberry seed though? Maybe actually we'll buy five cabbage seeds and then we'll come back and get a strawberry when we can reafford it, which shouldn't take long. It maybe would only take like a day to get enough, right? Because how much we have like 185 gold right now, so I think it'll be fine. Uh, museum. I think it's gonna be this universe's version of the Cabbage Man. Yeah. Oops. My cabbages. <gasps> Bug. Come back here. Petal hopper. We still need to find a caterpillar. If anybody sees a caterpillar, scream at me. <laughs> like, ah! Caterpillar. Hey, I'm here. I really do love this pink hair twink, though. Bingus, thank you for joining us. Hope we haven't roped Bingus into another, <laughs> into your schemes. Oh, I do love a good scheme. Then you'll love this. I believe the time has come to discuss reopening the mines. Yeah, open the mines. With all due respect, I believe we should be focusing on the museum. Yeah, but if you open the mines, then I can get more stuff for the museum. We don't have the workforce to reopen the mines in a commercial capacity. Whereas the museum is drawing interest from as far as the capital already. I believe it is the surest way to raise Mis Mistria's renown. It should be our top priority. We are in agreement that the museum should be our focus, Errol. However, with the arrival of Bingus, I believe we now have the perfect person to begin exploring the mines. Shipments of ore would be invaluable to the town. Uh, there are surely incredible artifacts just waiting to be discovered in the depths. And the more dangerous the adventure, the better. That's the spirit. While I appreciate the enthusiasm, I simply cannot approve of the reopening at this time. Structural damage or seam slippage and ele the elevator has stopped working. And I've been hearing strange sounds from below. Eh, that seems fine and normal. That's normal. Uh, surely you're not keeping the mines shut over some spooky noises, Errol. I mean, these are pretty creepy. I'd be happy to reconvene on the matter when Mysterious Town Rank has reached at least Stone Star Rank. That would satisfy you too. On it! I can see there's no budging you. Well, at least we have a goal in sight, Bingus. I guess those mines will stay closed. Now, how can I help? Yeah, yeah, I'm already doing all that. Let's get to it. The mines will be reopened in no time. Y'all. I love the little, like, dialogue bubbles that pop up. And I got a grasshopper to donate. Or a petal hopper. Ooh, flower. Oh, I gotta go to the, um... Big sight. <gasps> Caterpillar! Yeah, no! Frick! It was right on the edge there. Dang it. Ugh. Ooh, fun. This is on PC. It's on Steam. And it's still in early access, so the it's not even the full game. I really I'm not actually really sure how much content is even in the early access. But they have a big um there's a big update coming um, sometime in the end of this year. 
I think it'll probably be, I'm gonna assume based on like timelines and stuff that it'll probably be like a full release, um, like around this time next year. I gotta get my hoe. Can I? I might wait a day to harvest these before I plant the rest of my crops. Cause then everything is gonna be like, actually, let me see if I can plan this. If things aren't put together in a perfect way, then I would rather wait, you know? All right, Rio. Uh, one, two, three, four. No, I hate it. I'm gonna wait till those are, um, <laughs> I'm gonna wait till these are uh, harvested and then I'm gonna plant the rest of them because it's gonna bother me. Be like, where am I hoe at? Zag, how am I? I'm, I'm, you know, I was better until Zag posted that. <laughs> uh, I'm fine. Uh, I hope you're doing good. Did I said they're doing more updates by the end of the year, though. It's not that far off. Yeah. It's just we we still have to wait. There's still a long ways to go until you can actually, um, like get married and all that, which I feel like is the. Uh, but also, it's interesting because you know, like, not everybody that plays, you know, these games wants to even do that, but you know, it's still nice though. Zag talking about Ho, yeah. Wait, what other quests do I have? I need Sod and Pete. Oh, maybe we should just run around to look for a caterpillar. Wait, do we talk to the dragon? What a pleasant breeze. The flower petals smell nice, don't they? Yeah. Oh, wait. I should probably wait. Hold on. Mm. I was looking at marches, uh, liked gifts. <laughs> Don't mind me. Okay, caterpillar hunt. Always ignore the romance part of Stardew. So you're not bothered by marriage being a thing that they haven't finished yet. Just want to farm and talk to everyone. There. Yeah. It's a post caterpillar. It was once a caterpillar. Caterpillar. Ooh. Fish. Caterpillar. See, we saw so many caterpillar. Wait. Oh. Sword. Saw so many caterpillars at the beginning, and now I can't find any. Well, I found that one, but it was too close to the freaking the thing, so I couldn't even grab it. Ugh. <sighs> 
Excuse me. Butterfly. Yeah. I'm gonna donate that. Yeah, they just know. Is repaired. Woohoo! You wouldn't believe how excited <laughs> Henrietta was when I told her. I believe she was so very excited, actually. <gasps> Caterpillar! Hey -oh! Got it. Oh, I don't. I haven't even donated one yet, and I have to give it to, to this guy. Man. Here. As your have your caterpillar. Yeah, it is. Thank you, Bingus. He's gonna love it. I got a rice ball, though, so... Ablor. Balor. I'm gonna keep you. We both know that time is money. Oh. Yeah, fair enough. I just wanted to chat. I gotta find another caterpillar. Okay. 80 artifacts. 68 bugs. 106 cooked dishes. 34 crops. 111 fish. 86 forageables. 314 furniture. 30 materials. 23 ranch. Dang. Why is fiber under fish? I guess maybe because you could fish it up. So they put it under there as like, oh, this is something you could fish up. So we'll put it here on top of, you know, I guess that makes sense. Um, I guess we'll just keep clearing out the farm. Yeah, there's some stone and all that. I don't got room. Pockets. So it's almost time to end the stream. It's gonna rain tomorrow, so put that away. This is literally, this, like I said, this is literally just one of those games you could just get lost in, you know? You could just be like, what time is it? Oh yeah, it's, uh, it's six hours have passed. And I haven't moved from this spot. I did actually force myself to get up though. My watch is yelling at me to stand again and I'm like, but I can't. I'm gonna sit here and cut the grass. bug. I don't have room in my inventory. Can't let your watch dictate what you do. Can't force me to stand up. Also, I think, I feel like this will probably end up coming out on the Switch at some point. Like, maybe during, when it, like, fully releases. Uh, because I was thinking about one of my favorite features, accessibility features, that this game has um, on Steam Deck is that you can uh, enable the touch screen. Okay, now we can go to bed. Uh, if you play on Steam Deck, you can actually enable to use the touch screen. So that I was just kind of thinking about it and I'm like, oh, that would make, it would make sense if they do end up releasing it on Switch. Cause if they're gonna, if they already have a feature for touchscreen, then uh, 
you know. Got both hay and fiber at the same time. Your brain is full on red that is hay. <laughs> we have 300, we have 300 monies exactly. It means we could buy a uh, star, straw baby. <gasps> Look, and we got stone rank. So now we unlock the mines. Thunderstorm right now. Um, that's where we're gonna wrap it up for today, though. Because I don't wanna... We don't really have time to play, like, another... Even though we can save, you know, whenever we want. We don't really have time to do another day. So... Well, actually, let me go see if our crops are... We can harvest our crops. I knew it. Yeah. I got mail, too. Stone star rank. Thank you. I gotta meet at the mines. Yeah. Okay. Save again. Yeah, the rain is nice. I like it. Okie doke. <laughs>